all the speakers are requested to do a quick audio and video check before they start their speech. Uh, I would request you to not to uh, type in the chat box when a speaker is speaking as it disturbs the speaker. You can use the private chat to provide feedback. You are uh, are requested to keep your audio on mute in case you aren't speaking. Please refrain from any unnecessary movement or sipping on drinks if your video is on. Please turn off the video in case you need to do so. Please do not click on uh, share screen unless your speech and role requires you to do so. Uh, you can display high five or namaste when uh, taking over or leaving from a role. Uh, in case of any uh, technical glitch, you can uh, contact the Zoom master. I'll be the Zoom master of today. And if you are a speaker, then please ensure you pin the timer or confirm that if the same is visible at all times. This meeting is being recorded. In case you have any reservation, please let us know. Uh, you can network during the break after the meeting. So uh, now I'll share the mission of the club. So we provide a supportive and a positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop communication leadership skills, resulting in greater confidence and personal growth. Uh, so before I hand over it to the uh, presiding officer, uh, I'll just, uh, it's an honor to share that the club anthem on our 75th meeting, uh, wishing you all uh, cheer and great miles ahead. So here is the anthem of our club. Please let me know if it's uh, audible. March up from beginning to bold. We march up from beginning to bold. At speakers community, we mean words of gold. At speakers community, we mean words of gold. We march up from beginning to bold. We march up from beginning to bold. At speakers community, we mean words of gold. At speakers community, we mean words of gold. In our age, speeches, stories, and feelings, even tall and tall. In our age, speeches, stories, and feelings, even tall and tall. Human race, such evaluation, table topics are so. Human race, such evaluation, table topics are so. Human unfold, we doom to unfold. At speakers community, Toastmasters Club. At speakers community, Toastmasters Club. We march on from being me to bold. We march on from being me to bold. At speakers community, we mean towards a goal. At speakers community, we mean towards a goal. Principal responsible forever on the go. Principal responsible forever on the go. We never let a chance to a pro. We never let a chance to a pro. Our fears and prejudices are doubts manifold. Our fears and prejudices are doubts manifold. Forever support you, forever support you, forever support you, forever support you. We march on from being me to bold. We march on from being me to bold. At speakers community, we mean towards a goal. At speakers community, we mean towards a goal. Roles and responsibilities, laughter and joy. Roles and responsibilities, laughter and joy. To empower leadership, possess it is blood. To empower leadership, possess it is blood. We tap into potential, we challenge skill essential. Tap into potential, we challenge skill essential. Determine devotion, devotaring. Determine devotion, devil daring. We march on from being me to bold. We march on from being me to bold. A speaker's community, we mean words of gold. A speaker's community, we mean words of Wishing our uh, speakers community Toastmasters Club a great journey and many more meetings to come. And I hope we achieve multiple milestones. Now I'll hand over the meeting to our presiding officer and TMOD of the day, Kalpana. Over to you, Kalpana. 
Thank you so much, Risho. Thank you for opening the 75th meeting with the bank. With great pride and no prejudices, I welcome you all to the 75th meeting of Speakers Community Toastmasters Club and a membership drive in for at Toastmasters with the club, Speakers Community Toastmasters Club. As we are hurtling towards the 100th milestone mark, we want people to join in in the bandwagon of Toastmasters Club and experience the same joy that we have experienced as we hurtled around to reach our milestones. Do you know that Toastmasters helps you in develop your leadership? Toastmaster helps you in becoming a better speaker. But there is one thing that is absolutely found only at Toastmasters. How, where, when? Let me tell that to you with an interesting story. How many of us have played musical chair? I want you all to raise your hands, virtual hands, of course. You, have you all played musical chairs, everyone? Uh, Vaibo, yes, Risho, yes, please raise your hands. Thank you, Pratik. Fantastic. We all have played the musical chair. We all know the rules of the musical chair game that we have played as child and even as an adult, we keep playing. What do we do? A chair is lined up opposite to each other and the music begins playing. What's the condition? We have got probably 10 chairs and 11 participants, right? The music stops. Those who get the chairs have got the chair. The one that remains standing is out. The one that remains standing is out. The game continues till there is one chair and one winner. The game is a game of exclusion where one winner stands. Let me tell you how Japanese changed this particular idea of musical chair game. Exactly. The same way they also lay down 10 chairs opposite to each other. And there are 11 participants. But do you know what is the condition here? Can anybody guess? I can see a smile on Sanish's face. Sanish, can you guess what's the condition over here? The person who stands wins. The person, I mean, here, it is the same. No, not the person who stands. The condition here is not a single person should be left out of the chair. You will support. You will hold him you will put him in his lap you can put him on the shoulder you can do whatever but nobody will be left without a chair hence nobody is excluded from the game and everybody develops the habit of supporting each other yes as the game continues a chair is removed and number of people are the same till they come down to one last chair. All the participants hug each other, hold on to each other, give them a tiny space in that one chair that is left because the motto here is support. Motto here is nobody is a loser. We are all winners. And with great pride, I would like to say that is what Toastmaster is. In this journey of mine, we have been playing musical chairs with our speeches, with our evaluations. We have got mentors. We have got support from unexpected sources. And we have got people lend us a helping hand to pull us up where we all find our spot. We hug together. We become a community and it's great to be a part of this community where nobody loses. 
So, a very warm welcome to all present today to the 75th meet of Speakers Community Toastmasters Club. Before I go on and hand over the stage to Shanish, I would like to briefly tell you what does a simple meeting consist of in Speakers or Toastmasters Club. We have a round of prepared speeches, then we have a round of table topics. In table topics, we call it as table topics, but Lehman will know them as extempore speeches. Think on your feet and speak. And then we have general evaluations. These are the three segments. But for a change, we are going to deviate from that particular segments that we have. So the team mode or the Toastmaster of the day has three stalwarts to help her out. Today, we have got one stalwart. And that stalwart is a timer. Remember, time is money. So this timer will tell us what are the rules of the time. And this timer will also show us the cards at appropriate time to give us a warning. I hand it over to Toastmaster Arthi to explain the rules of time to the audience. Thank you, Toastmaster Kalpana. As a timer, it's my duty to time prepared speeches, table topics, and uh, education session. But uh, as there is no, there are no prepared speeches today. I will time the education session. I will show red card at uh, twenty five minutes in education session. And uh, for table topics, uh, I will show green card at one minute, yellow card at one and thirty seconds, and red card at two minutes. Over to you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Arthi, for that timing guidelines that you have presented to us. I go on to the next segment. What is Toastmasters? Why Toastmasters? How can it help us personally and professionally? Do you know who we have among us? A person who is a stalwart, who is someone I look forward to emulate and walk in the footsteps, especially when it comes to Toastmasters. He has left a footprint in marks of every Toastmasters. He is none other than Toastmaster Shanish. Shanish is the division director of the year, District 98, 21, 22. He has served in various leadership roles and kudos to that for him. He has been area director. He has been a club mentor. He has been a club sponsor. He has been president. He has been vice president in education. He has been VPPR, that is vice president PR. So that is a Toastmasters journey. Aren't you curious about who he is personally? Well, you want to know where you want to invest your money? Go to Sanesh. He is a finance and an investment expert. That too with 12 years of experience. Apart from that, he likes to keep himself very fit. So what does he do? He plays tennis. So he has a tennis racket in one hand and he has a book in another hand because he's a bookworm too. And apart from that, after reading the books and having a go at the field of table tennis, he comes to the Toastmasters Club and enjoys the field of speakers, community, platform that is provided by Toastmasters because he enjoys public speaking. Let us all welcome Sanish with a warm round of applause. Over to you, Shanis. The stage is all yours. Thank you, presiding officer Kalpana, for that amazing introduction. Uh, I'm feeling very elated and empowered listening to that. You all hear that uh, gratitude messages. We need to say affirmative sentences. I would request the club to give me that, that two-minute clip. I would like to start off my day with just listening to that. I think that will empower me to take on the day and take on the world itself. So thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Kalpana, for that wonderful introduction. So good afternoon, everyone. Uh, great to have all of you after i'm hoping after a scrumptious lunch and all of you are awake and i would request if the rest of you can switch on your videos arti kailash tarun rishav sushma pratik like maybe 
for five ten minutes and then then if not uh, the session is not interesting or you can switch off the video so that that's okay but but if the onset if you can have the videos on that will be great and great to see Rashmin uh, over here as well so some of you are members I know and since it's a new club I don't know who are the members I know couple like Kalpana Aarti Rashmin are members Rishav is also a member since he's the sergeant so I'd request like Kailash, Tarun, Sushma, Pratik, if you can let me know, like you are a guest or members. Uh, this is Kailash. Uh, hi, Kailash. Yeah, hi. Uh, I'm a member of this group from last uh, six to seven months. So, uh, Arthi, you can uh, stop sharing the screen. You can directly share it at 25 minutes. So, I would like to see most people. So, Thanks, Kailash. So, Kailash, uh, how did you come to know about this particular group, this particular club, and and Toastmasters in general? I was I was, I was a member of Google and they said I got this Toastmaster and I requested to so post this. I I got uh, uh, stuck with a couple of other 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 steps. So, uh, on and off is happening for a long time. So, is this the first meeting you are attending? After a long time. Or for a long time. A great, great to have you, Kailash, with us. Uh, and what do you know about Toastmasters? If I can ask, like maybe in a couple of sentences, what do you have? Yeah, Toastmasters is like we can uh, uh, connect with uh, other people there from other domains, uh, uh, different thought, different thought, thought process. So it is like win-win situation. Like we need to give and we need to get. Like we can get. Thanks, Kailash, for bringing that win win situation. Definitely. And something the presiding officer emphasized with the story she brought in, right? Like all the 11 people need to win, like on one spot. And when the presiding officer was narrating the story, I was picturing that image in my mind. Like, how are the 11 people coming on the champ? Sure, like all of you guys were also trying to figure and somewhere that message uh, encapsulates that theme of the Toastmasters offering, like how we can support each other, share that positivity, share that feeling of like how to go out, become a better speaker, better communicator and better leader. So definitely Toastmaster is one of the platforms which provide its members to do that. Uh, Sushma, if, if you are there and if you can speak, if you are in a place where you can, so do Okay, so she has already mentioned, I think she's out. So she won't be able to participate. So no worries again. Thanks, Sushma, for joining us. So Tarun, if you are there, if you can share with us. Yeah, hi, good afternoon. I'm a Toastmaster and the Pawai Toastmasters Club in Mumbai. So I just saw the invite uh, in one of the groups. So I thought that I'll join. So that's why I'm here. Okay. Great, Tarun, great to have. So how long you have been a Toastmaster? About two and a half years. Hey, awesome, man. Great to have you with us. Thank you. So now, Pratik, would you like to share like you are a member, guest? Yeah, hi. hi. Um, this is Pratik. So good afternoon to everyone. I am a guest. Uh, I just found out about Toastmasters, this particular club yesterday. Kalpana was kind enough to sort of give me a good introduction. Um, so yeah, it's actually my first session. All right, Pratik. So, uh, Pratik, a quick question to you. Mm -hmm. What made you look out for Toastmasters? And, and what right. was your expectation? Like after maybe Google, you must have searched something. So if you can share with us. Correct. Yeah, what triggered was basically I was on LinkedIn going through some posts and I saw someone basically thanking Toastmasters International for, for achieving a milestone in their life. Um, and I'd heard of Toastmasters before. So I got curious. I ended up Googling and then on Toastmaster International's website, when I looked up Mumbai, um, I came across this club and, you know, that's how, uh, I sort of got interested. Thank you. Thank you, Pratik for sharing that. So great. We have around three to four guests with us. So, so let's give a round of applause to all of them for coming forward and sharing with us, like what they are looking out in Toastmasters. Now going to ask a couple of, uh, veteran Toastmasters. I know, uh, Kalpana has already shared with us. So I'll reach out to Kalpana later. I'll request Aarti. I remember around one year back, I had reached out and spoken with both Kalpana and Aarti 
at that time i was inviting them to join the club and the life has come to a full circle now and the guest and they are the host and they have invited me so let me ask them like what have triggered them and and ensure that they are still associated with the toastmaster club after two years uh sunny is um, it's wonderful that uh, i'm seeing you again in our meeting and um, yeah many time i thought that i should uh, uh, leave it and uh, not continue with toastmasters but uh, my friend kalpana always guided me and uh, insisted that you are learning something and uh, see thought that there is some change in me and uh, i also felt that uh, confidence uh, which was deep within there was a bit of less confidence but now i can see that i can feel that confidence in me after two years and i feel that uh, we get some knowledge from uh, knowledge and uh, we can develop our skills so i would like to continue with it thanks arti thanks for sharing that now i would request toastmaster pratibha to share in a few words why she renews and and how she leverages the toastmaster platform i joined i joined toastmasters 10 years back and in 10 years lot of change particularly in me and also in toastmasters when i joined toastmasters was offering traditional educational resources we had all type of manual we used to speech we used to prepare our speeches based on the manuals today it is online pathways is educational resources it's very interesting what they did is they have just implemented all new changes which is required for example panel discussion then storytelling question and answer session all these things are very important part of communication today in the corporate world also in the training and educational institute in in fact today the opportunities as panelist or moderator you get lot many opportunities and so many times it happens that we don't feel so confident because we have not done all these things so toastmasters is a i will say that in fact it's very effective learning platform i learned a lot i came to know about ted talks here i came to know about how your communication can be converted into persuasion and storytelling without even changing the mood so many things and it's also interesting people ask me the same structure same objective still you are continuing for 10 years let me tell you one thing every meeting will give you something new point every meeting will give you a new Uh, insight and you have to implement you have to practice it so tetos masters is not a time bound it's a continuous process over to you sanish thank you toast master pratibha for that uh, two minute insta reel right like i am over here conducting like 30 minute and within the 30 minute we have got that two minute in the insta reel how we have that two minute benefit of covering all down how in the 10 years how you have benefited how the toastmaster itself have changed uh, it's a very valid point i still remember like physical magazines used to be handed i i think vibo also resonated somewhere when he was nodding when pratibha shared like it was being utilized and for the last two years when the pandemic happened toastmasters was one of the organizations where meetings happened the business continued as usual it wasn't affected like it quickly took on to the virtual platform some of the clubs uh, came on to zoom platform some of the clubs went on to the ms teams platform some of the clubs went on to google hangout platform but i don't think any club per se faced that challenge like there were toastmasters who were early innovators adapters it provided that platform where they can quickly take on and provide that support how wonderfully toastmaster kalpana said like some of that clubs had that benefit of few members who were very inquisitive and quickly took on the technology and went on to other clubs and shared that like how you can come there and train them so the benefits how toastmaster pratibha put it every meeting every crisis gives that opportunity to the people like 
some people will look at it and say it's a crisis but in toastmasters per se we get a lot of leaders who look at that crisis and say here lies in the seeds of opportunity let's look at what we can do and the way the zoom has given that opportunity is amazing like toastmaster international is around 100 year old organization it, it was started in 1924 by dr ralph smedley and somewhere when he started he saw that need in the community the people were required to come out and speak the people were required to come out and lead maybe in social occasions maybe in professional occasions but somewhere they feel they were lacking and dr ralph smedley felt that he was in a position probably he can help out these people and therein came that idea of toastmasters and many such clubs were chartered and it gave that platform to people people came over here and they learned they sharpened they smoothened their social their communication skills and leadership skills that is what toastmasters was initially chartered with that thought but now i'm sure if he could have seen that over the 100 years how the toastmasters concept has transformed has evolved and the future leaders have taken ahead it's completely surprising because let me tell you what i have been a toastmaster for around 4 years and i'm amazed like i used to attend a college classroom and the way now it's happening the clubs i can attend across the 145 countries is it something to be just looked and amazed now before we move on i, I would request like we had two people still pending so i like to hear from people as well so that's something i enjoy like it's not about just me sharing what i learned it's also me learning from everybody because when the guest speak it gives me an insight what they are looking into so i'd request guest sushma like to share with us like what she understood from the toastmasters what she's looking ahead uh, sorry uh, sushma sir guest sunila yes if, if she can hi sunila here yeah hi sunila good afternoon everybody uh, actually i have just joined in and this is the first meeting of mine and uh, kalpana has put me on to this so i really don't know i will really have to uh, probably read about it or uh, do you have an instagram page or i i don't know what it is yes so we do. if you no yeah, you do uh, yes we do yes so th this is a proper session uh, i think this session was curated from that perspective to let the guests know what toastmasters is all about we will be covering that in the next 15 minutes as well as some of the current members new members to know how to leverage the toastmasters platform so they can enjoy that journey going ahead knowing that what in lies for that journey so thanks sunila for sharing that and uh, now i will ask you. Rashmin, who is also BPM for a club, so he has been a member for I think around two months. So share with us a couple of things, what he enjoys being a Toastmaster. Well, I enjoy uh, two things. First is uh, I love that there are so many people listening to what I say without making any noise. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the first part. the second part i love the feedback while you know people are counting my hours and ums uh, i love that part so well a uh, uh, fun aside but uh, so uh, for me this uh, this this whole uh, forum or program uh, is like a books in motion i read lot of books but this is the platform where i got to try out some of those learnings those concepts and uh, you know bounce of ideas uh, so that's for me this is books in motion uh, and secondly personally i want to hone my public speaking skills my leadership skills look try to understand what works how to uh, how to uh, how to communicate a message across uh, in a in a way that can be that can uh, that can uh, in a constructive constructive way Uh, to improve uh, the overall uh, community so this is a great platform thank you so much thank you rashmin for bringing that 
uh, I think uh, you have covered most of the points which I want to cover in the next session. That is benefits of the Toastmasters. So thanks for covering that, Rashmin. So number one benefit I would say is public speaking. All of us in some point or time or other, we get associated with Toastmasters is because somewhere that urge is there, right? We want to speak publicly and rightly like Rashmin said, irrespective of it's a good speech or a bad speech or a worse speech or an amazing speech, people will not stop us. Like till that time is that like four to six minutes or in my case, that 30 minutes, uh, Kalpana or Aarti will not stop me. I'll get that leeway for till three o'clock. I can speak. So that's a great platform. I think one of the places I heard is that you will always get an applaud at the end of the speech, no matter how your speech is. The good thing about that is when we get that applause, somewhere that creates that uh, awareness within us, like did we give our best? Now, what would be Kalpana's best would be different. What would be my best? And certainly it would be different from what would be the best of Pratiba or maybe Vaibhav it will vary from person to person. What matters is, let's say I got an opportunity to speak. Let's say maybe one week from now, or maybe a fortnight from now. Did I take out time? Did I do the sufficient research? Did I reach out to my mentor and share my script with the mentor and get it reviewed? Did I practice it maybe four times, maybe 10 times? Like I said, it depends from person to person. But did I give my best before coming to this platform today? Am I confident enough that I did everything I can do? It may not turn out how I expect. Maybe I wanted it to turn out in another way. Maybe how the vice president education wants it to turn out. But that is okay. What matters is, did I do everything in my capability which I can do? And the best part is, even if I did not do that, uh, people will not say, don't come the next time. If I go and say, okay, give me an opportunity next time to come and speak, people will be more than forthcoming and say, all right, Sanish, come ahead. Next time, there is a slot again for you. Do your best next time. And that's what Toastmasters is always about, like empowering the members, like giving, feeling that good feeling. Because the next time I want to listen to that applause again. So I'll give my best maybe the next time. The second thing is building that leadership skill right? Many times. So le let me ask you, what do you understand from leadership skill? If I ask you maybe one word or maybe a couple of words. So Weber, like if I ask you. Okay. Uh, leadership for me is um, just not leading and managing others, but how you behave. It's a series of behaviors in tough situations. Uh, it includes how you behave to lead yourself, like how you get yourself out of not procrastinating, right? I think the, somebody spoke that I have an opportunity to speak. I have to prepare for it. I have to, you know, be ready, you know, to face the audience. So for me, it's a series of behaviors in different situations. Like, you know, uh, a very famous thing, which not very famous, rather very memorable thing, which one of my managers told me once is you're traveling in the bus it's not always that you're driving the bus. You can be a conductor once. You can be a passenger sometimes. You might be the driver sometimes. Um, so what I'm trying to tell is how you behave in different situations, maybe even doing a simplest role of a timer, how you do it is leadership for me. Thank you, Vaibha. Thank you for sharing that small anecdote of that bus journey. Like sometimes you are the passenger, sometimes we are the driver, sometimes the conductor. Uh, that will bring me back to, I think, the XCOM rule. Today, maybe I am the president or last year I was the president for my club. I was the division director. Today, I'm a member at my club. Now, how I treated my members during that time will be somewhere reflected right how that karma goes now that will be depicted on how they will treat me today when i am a member of the club so that is what i would say leadership partly somewhere i would say leadership for me personally it's about two things initiative and mindset right every time in i used to remember in school college maybe in office sometimes some things comes up like maybe during festivities like a ganpati related something needs to be organized in the society in the club 
in the college, in the office, who will take the initiative, right? We always like look left, right, back, uh, someone else, can they take it up probably? Or sometimes we say these things are being not planned in the club or maybe in the office or in the society. So leadership is about that, taking that initiative. Like it's, it's not about what others can do for you. It's about what we can do for others. So that's what I would say. It's, it's leadership about like, if we feel something is not good, ask maybe in a club setting, you can ask the club leaders, like, this is something, can I help out? Can I do that? Like independence day happened last month. If we can celebrate in the club, I have this idea. Can I pitch in or maybe Ganesh Utsav is there. Maybe next month, Navaratri is there. Christmas is there. So any member of the club can take that opportunity and take the initiative reach out to the president the vice president education vice president membership i have this idea can i take the in charge so leadership is all about initiative nobody has to come and acquaint you okay from this day forward you have to be in charge of this you see a crisis you see a need you see you can add value you can just chip in and say can i do that and i'm sure the leaders around you will be more than happy to see you grow and take up that opportunity. And if you're wondering how to go about it, that's the second thing of it. You grow as a leader when you take it up. That's something I have realized as a Toastmaster. Initially, my mindset was I need to know things before I do it. Now I realized I know things by doing it. I don't have to know things before doing it. So I take up the opportunities, whichever comes my way. And I say, all right, let me do it. Maybe someone else is there who have done it. I reach out to the people. And that's what another thing Toastmaster provides you, the mentor, access to the mentor. Maybe for writing a speech, how to write better speeches. Maybe as a leader, what, how you can serve the club better, the area the better, the community better. So you have so many wonderful mentors in the fraternity who are always there to guide you, to groom you. So being a part of Toastmaster provides you that opportunity, that access to mentors. There are people who have spent 20 years in Toastmaster. Just yesterday in a WhatsApp group, uh, part of I saw that, that we have a distinguished Toastmaster Ramanathan who has spent 20 years. There is another Toastmaster, Toastmaster, distinguished Toastmaster Vinay, who is today conducting a panel discussion today evening, and it's going to be on CNBC live. So if you are on CNBC, do log into that it's around i think 5 or 6 pm so all these members are benefiting from that they are somewhere getting that opportunity to conduct panel discussion in the club setup and maybe something like this they have maybe 10 members 15 members but when that organization come with that opportunity we need to conduct a panel discussion would somebody be interested some em employees may think or professionals may think i have not done this before can I do or not? But members of Toastmasters who have availed of this opportunity, conducted panel discussion, organized a meeting, they are very well acquainted. They are comfortable. They directly reach out to the organizer and say, listen, I've done this panel discussion. That self-belief is that. And then they take a grab on that opportunity. And years from now, they will distinguish themselves. We generally go for the job, right? Nine to five job. Sometimes, sometimes we have that entrepreneur, we have our business, or maybe we can be an entrepreneur or get into the job. But the thing is, how much time are we putting in to develop that social skills, that communication skills, that leadership skills, right? That is very critical. I wish sometimes I knew like for the first 10 years of my professional experience, like something of this platform was there. And I didn't know, even if I was aware, I would have that good sense of becoming the member and taking the opportunity of all these advantages it is providing. Now it is easier right now. Okay, having got all those benefits, like I should have taken that. But I can see many of you are right now sitting on that fence thinking, is it something for me or not? So definitely I would say, take it up. It's an amazing platform join for maybe a couple of meetings look at it how you can benefit like i mentioned it's an amazing treasure trove again couple of things was covered i think rashmin brought like that mindfulness 
awareness. So in, in a typical Toastmaster meeting, we have a timer, we have an R counter. So we have a grammarian. All these provide benefits for the members in, in terms of like when you're timer, it you puts you in a content, right? The speaker is giving an amazing speech. Should you listen to the speaker or should you show the timing? Should you look at the clock or maybe the R counter, how one of the members provided. So should you listen to the filler words or should you listen to the speech? So all these roles help you to develop that multi skill, multitasking skill. So this is a platform we live. And sometimes even I know there have been occasions where I feel I felt I could not do an amazing job. But coming over here, going through that meeting again and again, doing it again and again, we learn that, right? It's, it's like how Bruce Lee said, <laughs> right? I'm not afraid of a person who knows 500 different kicks. I'm afraid of the person who practices that kick 500 times. And Toastmasters gives that platform. You can take up that role of our counter again and again to your heart's content. Maybe today you felt like you could not catch all the fillers today you are listening to the speaker take up the role next time i'm sure you will do better because i also did that like in the first role i know i was not up to the mark but taking up the role again and again i became better and better each role so again each meeting provides a lot of opportunities to lead like for example toastmaster of the day the wonderful way how toastmaster of the day kalpana introduced me it was amazing. I know I was, it was what I had sent it to her. It was just three normal standard sentences, but in her own way, she articulated it. I, it was wonderful to hear. And every speaker loves to hear something like that. When that person comes onto the scene, that is a skill we all learn. Maybe tomorrow you get an opportunity to be the master of ceremonies, maybe in your organization, if not in your organization, maybe in your society for some program. And what better platform to sharpen your skill over Toastmasters rather than somewhere else? Now, Toastmaster has an educational program which is called as Pathways, and it has five core competencies public speaking, intercommunicate, personal speaking, management, confidence, and leadership. So, there are 11 pathways, and each pathway have all these four competencies. All the five core competencies overlap. It is up to each member how much they want to emphasize on each of the skills. Now, irrespective of your speech, which you take, every speak will give you opportunity to focus on your public speaking. But something like you take more roles, you take up the role of Toastmaster of the day, you take up the role of Table Topic Master, you get more opportunity for leadership, more opportunity for interpersonal communication. You become a buddy for a club leader. You get more opportunity to connect with other members of the club. So all these amazing opportunities gives you more scope. And finally, we have the evaluation. That is something which is said that it's the heart of a Toastmasters program. Evaluation is something very important, right? What you say can make or break a person. A person comes on board and gives a speech as an evaluator of what that person says. The next time the person will make a narrative, should I come or not? And that is the power of relationship. If the words are empowering, the person will say, all right, I'll try better next time. I'll do better next time. And if the words does not come properly, the person will say, I won't come the next time. And it's true, not just for Toastmaster in our day-to-day -day life how we speak with our spouse, our children, our parents, our siblings, our friends. Every time, every words we communicate, it has that power to empower the other people. So this is that platform where we can learn that skill. We speak very often with all the people in our life, but very few times we put that time, invest that time to become better communicators. I think we need to do that, right? Because the more time we invest, the people around us will feel empowered. They feel, all right, I feel so good to speak with Viber. I want to connect with Viber more. I feel so empowered every time I speak with Pratibha. As leaders within the organization, maybe within the family, or even within the society or community at large, 
Toastmasters gives us that platform to become better speaker, better communicator, and better leader. And I think an online club gives an amazing opportunity because you can join at the comfort of your home. You don't have to travel. It helps you to cut on that time. Let's say you're traveling outside and you think, okay, I'll be free maybe probably by two. So I can be join speakers community. So that is that USP, I would say for an online club. So I would urge all of the guests do become member of the speakers community club. And if you have any further queries or maybe in terms of fees or in terms of what is the frequency the club meets, do reach out the president of the club, Toastmaster Kalpana or the VP membership of the club, Toastmaster Arti. So thank you all for joining us. You have been a lovely audience and over to you Toastmaster of the day. Thank you so much, Shanice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the love and the support that you have shown to this club and briefed all the guests who have come here and inspired them to be a part of Toastmasters. Guests, I tell you all to join and help your own self to be professionally and personally better. Before we move on to the next segment of an interesting table topic rounds where we will be giving you a platform to speak up, I would request our SA and Zoom master Rishav to kindly hand over a certificate of appreciation to none other than our Toastmaster Shanish. Thank you, Shanish. We appreciate you giving us the time of your day to help us and guide the guests that are present today at our club. Thank you so uh, much. Kalpana, just give me a second. I will prepare the certificate. Just a second. Okay, Rishav. Okay. While Rishav is preparing the certificate, let me very quickly tell you what we are going to do in table topics. You all must have heard about extempo speaking, right? Uh, someone just tells you something or gives you a theme or even at a meeting or a conference professionally when someone just asks you to speak up or give your opinion or form your thoughts, organize it in a way where it makes sense at the 11th hour, how do you do it? Do you freeze? Do you just realize that your gray cells are refusing to answer you or take you forward? The ideas are there, but your tongue has frozen over. That is the round of table topics. And of course, I'll be handing it over to the table topic master. But before that, with a huge round of applause, let me thank Toastmaster Shanish for guiding us so thoroughly, impeccably, and also with tiniest details not missed out. Thank you, Sanish. Thank you so much. Have you taken the photograph, Zoom Master? Risha, kindly take yes, highlight. I'm just, yeah. yeah, I'm just uh, highlighting it. All right. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, just, just Kalpana. Thanks for the opportunity. I'm Thank sure you. love will grow by leaps and bounds. With Thanks, you Thank you. <laughs> we need your wishes and support. So that's what I meant that at Toastmasters, nobody fails. <laughs> Everybody gets a part of the chair. <laughs> oh, it's done. Thank you. It's done. Thank you so much, Zoom Master Risha, for that. Now let us move on to the next segment. Let us move on to the next segment of today's session. That is the table topics round. Toastmaster Vaiba is the table topic master of today. But do you know, he is also attempting his project. What is said about his project that he is going to conduct a table topic round and what does it include? I would like to hand over the stage to none other than our veteran Pratibha Kamath to give us a small brief about Toastmaster Vibers level as well as the pathway. Over to you, Pratibha. Thank you, Kalpana. 
Toastmaster Webhub is attempting his uh, project on active listening through impromptu speaking. So he will be conducting table topic master's role and in his own way, he will be conducting it through the active listening. Over to you, Toastmaster Kalpana. Thank you. Thank you, Pratibha. I now will hand over the stage to wipe out to complete the project that he has undertaken. Let's all support him. And remember one thing, that in Toastmasters, it's not just about talking. It's also about listening. Your communication is incomplete if you do not sharpen your listening skills. Let me give you a brief introduction of our next table topic master who is going to conduct the session for us. Again, it is raining finance, it is raining money, but in rupees, not in dollars. Our Vaibhav Murthy is a CA and he works in finance division of an investment bank. Again, we're going into investment. So guest, invest in yourself and become a better communicator is what I would say over here. He has joined Toastmasters five years back and his aim was at that time to improve his communication skills. And every Toastmaster sessions he says has helped him become a better communicator. So I now hand over the stage to take the topic master Vaibo. Over to you, table topic master Vaibo. Well, thanks a lot, Kalpana, uh, for that introduction. Uh, really appreciate that. Well, uh, before I actually conduct the session, maybe, you know, uh, just want to tell or maybe add on to what Sanish has already said. I joined Toastmaster five years back. Yeah, I'm from those days which Pratipa was referring to, uh, those old course with books. Uh, uh, but the reason I joined was I had a fear factor of speaking in front of large audience. And as one of my mentors suggested me that Toastmasters would be the right platform where I can join and you know practice my communication and become a better communicator and that's why i'm here so uh, that's a bit of background for all the guests and the reason i feel uh, that with every meeting you learn something and become a better communicator i'll explain that why okay even if you have achieved your goal you know say five years back i was you know not such a great communicator according to me and maybe over the time i improved why i st still join the toastmasters meeting why i'm still a member let me give an example all of us know about a great sporting legend named virat Kohli, right and people who follow him also know that right now he's going one of the slumpest phase of his life he's out of form right he's a great player and nobody need to vouch for that he has already attained all the success in the skills he wants to but he's struggling right now and he needs to come back to form. Do you know what he needs to do? Or, my, or I'm sorry, maybe he might be already doing that. But according to me, he needs to practice. He needs to play in Ranji uh, or a domestic league. He needs to go and spend more time on nets. Have an environment which is a real life and which is closer to a real life environment where you can practice and fail. I believe Toastmasters is the safest place to fail. I come here to fail. I don't come here to succeed. I come here to fail because when I fail, I get feedback and with that I succeed. So with that, let me move ahead with the next section. And I want people to come here and try to fail. If you succeed, nothing like it. This is the section where you get an opportunity to speak impromptu or extempore. So I have a list of topics um, where you can come ahead and choose one of the topic. You'll be given a stipulated time, which is minimum time is one minute uh, and the maximum time is two minutes with a grace period of 30 seconds. So that means you can speak on that topic for minimum one minute till two minute 30 seconds. And I'll tell you why extemp Imagine 
you are in a lift and you meet ceo of your company in the lift or for the diverse audience who might not be you know in professional environment say you're in a lift and you meet prime minister in the lift he says hi webber how are you what would you do you'll just say i'm fine and leave it there that's the opportunity for you to make the most out of it to think on your feet strike a conversation speak for 2 minutes and build a rapo so for example sanish if you're thinking that was staged where he will call my name and ask me webber tell me what do you think about leadership no he he literally put me on my feet i gathered my thoughts 10 seconds and then i spoke about it so that is where i feel that opportunity when it knocks it knocks impromptu extempore so you should be ready to speak it's not always prepared speak prepared meetings where you go and speak suddenly in one meeting somebody will say webber what's your opinion you need to gather your thoughts and speak and as kalpana very nicely said we believe in japanese musical chair so for the guest what we going to do is we're going to support you so that you attempt it how we going to support you two ways one is i'll tell you a trick to attempt this say if i have a topic my favorite sportsman so today all the topics are my favorite tagline so if i have a topic my favorite sportsman you can speak if you, if you really have a sportsman it's going to be a cake walk for you right it's you're going to speak for one minute what if you do not like sports so maybe you can speak about why you don't like sports and what you like like i don't like sports because i feel x y z hence i like books i read i like reading books my favorite book is this so there's always a way you can speak impromptu and extempore so with that with that support i'll move ahead and the second support we're going to give is i'm going to call a experienced toastmasters first to give the table topic speech so that he gives you a demo he or she as to how to give a shot to a table topic speech and then i'll encourage the guest to take uh, this opportunity and speak because this is how any of the toastmasters meeting would be where you'll get an opportunity and you have to grab it so with that let me ask any of the toastmasters who are currently a member of the toastmaster international to raise their hand and maybe i can you know do a demo on how to you know speak extempore so anybody out of rashmin kalpana pratibha sunish or i know even uh, we had one more member right rajiv or should i choose okay let me okay great sanish is raising his hand so sanish if you could unmute yourself great so sanish i have nine topics so if you could choose one number between 1 to 9 and i can tell you what is the topic you have to speak on one what well uh one right okay well sanish my favorite movie my favorite movie sanish how many of you watch hollywood movies can, can i see a raise of hand or virtual hand all right kalpana rashmi thanks thanks vibhav great so my favorite hobby right before i joined toastmaster somebody used to ask me was like watching movies like i can give you a, such a long list of movies i really enjoy watching movies especially hollywood movies like they take you out to a another world now one of my favorite movies is well well before i come to that let me tell you a short story about that movie so it's a story about a general and the movie set in a prehistoric era and this general was selected by his emperor to be the caretaker of the kingdom once he is gone and the emperor's son is not happy about it he tries to kill the general and he fails but he succeeds in killing the general's family the general loses all hope in his life and does not want to live any more then he is taken by a slave trader 
and he's sold off. Now, any guesses? Can somebody guess which story I am talking about? Is it Ben Hur? No, no. Something similar. It's it's about a story about how a general becomes a slave, and the slave becomes a gladiator, and the yes. gladiator is more powerful than Spartans. the Spartans. Is a Spartan? No, yeah. no, no. Julius Caesar. It's, it's, it's a it's gladiator. Yeah, gladiator. gladiator. I, I put in the clue in that phrase. So, gladiator is one of my favorite movies of the Russell Crowe. It it shows always to keep on going. Like when the things around in our life may not always be for a best, and there are going to be times when things seem to be like everything is good. Like how he faced, he was supposed to become the kind of next emperor, and suddenly someone. the villain came and took everything away from him still he doesn't give up it, that thing like at the end of his life he's going to be again reunited with his family and that's an amazing storyline for me like a life a fantasy beyond that life and that metaphor always inspires me so my favorite movie friends is gladiator and if you have not yet watched it watch it it's a delicacy for your eyes as well as for your mind thank you and over to you it great thanks sanish for demonstrating how you give a table topic and and thanks for telling that there is a inspiring element in everything and everywhere whatever we do there is some inspiration right even movies though they are made for entertainment purposes i also strongly you know uh, agree with you that there is an inspirational value in every good movie uh, which leaves us with a message right the movie you referred it it is inspiring us that life may have leaps and bounces but you need to have a positive attitude and you know what i was referring to earlier sure series of behavior where you with that positive attitude you become still successful and i'm glad you know that that movie has inspired you and there are many such movies which have inspired me and also on how to give a good table topic so what the technique which sanish used is a technique called uh zoom out right so the topic was about a movie so he started with what movie he likes and he zoomed out to a very broad up point a message that what message that movie gives you so thanks for that sanish with that let's move ahead and let me see if we have somebody else who can try this and i can see tarun has raised his hand but before i go to tarun is there any guest who wants to give a a, a shot at this pratik sunila Who are here for the first time? Do you want to give a try? Oh, that was Pratik has raised his hand. Okay, perfect. So, Pratik, can you hear me? Hi. Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Perfect, Pratik. If I may request you, if it's possible, can you switch on your video? Otherwise, that's fine. Um, I think I may not be able to do it this time. I'm not at home, so. Uh, that's absolutely fine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as as far as we hear your voice, we should be okay. So. the number 1 is taken if that was your favorite number but you still <laughs> left with a number between 2 and 9 if you could yeah, choose yeah it's a good one. thing my lucky number is actually 2 so i'll go with that great uh so prateek my favorite season my favorite season prateek right <clears throat> so it's very hard to pick a favorite season in terms of um, what i enjoy the most because each season sort of has its own vibe um but i would have to say my favorite season would be the winter season um reason being because the, the, the kind of hobbies that i have are mostly indoors uh for example i love reading books so reading book in itself is a vibe when when you know it's um, nice and gloomy outside and then you're you you cuddled up in your bed and you reading a good book um that's an that's an exceptional experience and i do look forward to that um you know living in mumbai which is known for its humidity uh, <laughs> it's it's not hard to not like um winter just because uh, you know you could go out without uh, without without worrying about having to sweat you know if if you commute to work you could uh, you could end up like really um, you know with with sweat stains on your shirt and what not uh that is something i particularly dislike um so winters are sort of like to give you an example um i'm out i'm out right now 
and even though it's supposed to be monsoon when i went out i by the time i reached where i am right now i was in i was sweating um you know so that's that's something that that becomes a little inconvenient um so for those reasons i like winter season and um, also the fact that you know christmas sort of overlaps with winter so christmas and winter sort of go hand in hand in, in my mind at least like i know if if it's winter um christmas is just around the corner and uh, i really love uh, christmas as a season i really like you know it, it's towards the end of the year it's a festival season as well um so for those reasons and also it it gives me since it, it's the since is the last quarter of the year i also take some time to reflect how my year went and uh, i also try to come up with some plans uh, for the next year january onwards what what sort of plans i have so winter uh, you know in summary you know winter is basically uh, offers a good vibe to me as well as uh, it helps me reflect uh, on my year and uh, also plan things for for the future so yep i hope i was able to offer a different perspective uh, on winter and uh, we we'll be able to explain why that's my favorite season thank you well thanks a lot pratik so winter is the winner here yeah? uh, and i totally echo with you um, i think the monsoon brings the joy the change in weather uh, but definitely winter stands out me for me too because monsoon brings in other things too uh, which might not be so pleasant whereas winter as you really rightly pointed out you know it makes you cuddle it gives you the opportunity to you know open your racks and get those old uh, sweaters and rugs you know been there for entire day that was my childhood memory and also nothing to beat my favorite moment is having an ice cream in winters nothing can beat that as an experience and i think the last thing you said to reflect resonate and ruminate uh at the end of the year uh as to how the year went and what you want to do next year even the person who had the one of the worst years would be in a very positive zone because the year is ending and he will have a positive vibe in or his head that okay maybe from 1st of january things will change and i'm going to succeed and i'm definitely sure with that attitude everybody would have a blast on the new year's eve so winter is a winner thanks for that pratik uh with that we can move ahead with the next uh person who wants to give i know we had a hand up from tarun tarun do you want to give a try yeah sure let me give it a perfect shot. so one and two has been taken so you have numbers between 3 and 9 you can select one so i'll go with 7 7 uh tarun my favorite book my favorite book tarun okay so you know i am a kind of bookworm and i picked up this habit uh during the covid period when we had nothing much to do and uh, i think that was the right time in my life where you know actually i got this uh, habit of reading uh, and i've read a few books since then uh, but one of the books that hasn't left me or rather you know i haven't left it is the book called sapiens i have read that this book at least 3 to 4 times and i still continue to read it uh while you know the other books i just read it once and then it, they go into my library or whatever small corner i have in my home but sapiens keeps on coming back uh, onto my reading table and sometimes to my bed and the reason i say so is because it's a very different perspective of the evolution of human kind that has been uh that has been uh, mentioned or rather enumerated in uh, in sapiens uh, which really opens your mind about you know what what as human beings what we are today uh, what we were and how are how how have we progressed over over a period of time that's about that's uh, you know thousands of thousands thousands of years it also gives a huge perspective or very different perspective about how the financial markets work how the uh, financial systems have uh, developed and also it also talks about the happiness uh, you know how the happiness uh, is perceived and you know how how do we perceive happiness in 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 our lives versus what it actually means uh, biologically 
so there are multiple uh, chapters in that book uh, like i said it starts from prehistoric times comes uh, right till about uh, you no know, couple of years back uh, if you read the latest edition and between these time span it gives you a complete or a very holistic perspective about how the how the evolution of manpower has evolved and how these systems around uh, a financial systems so or for that matter the agriculture or industrial revolution has taken place and how as human beings we have grown and how are we same or different versus our ancestors so i like that book tremendously and i don't think that i'm going to leave it at at any point of time i keep on going back to refresh or refurbish or sometimes uh re you know uh, go go back to the book to uh, to read a few uh, particular uh perspective and uh, i just uh, can't let it go so that's my favorite book and uh, back to you thank you oh, sorry i was on mute thank you tarun for that um i think according to me book is the man's best friend and as you narrated the book you know which is your favorite just gave you uh, a perspective uh on on how the financial markets work i was talking to one of my you know cfos in my organization and i got a chance to interview him and he also mentioned a book named house of cards um which shows how a leadership can make a company you know uh, successful and how it can also make it uh you know fall apart uh if you ask me personally um do i do not read books so much one of my favorite books uh still one of my favorite is seven habits of a successful person if i'm uh, mentioning that correctly and i very vividly remember the two habits which were mentioned in there one of them you know would apply for all of us it said sharpen your sword right a simple term sharpen your sword which signifies what i just said practice 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 because the day when you have to use your sword you have already sharpened it and that's why we are here uh with that let me move ahead and see if somebody else can want to volunteer again i want to call out any of the guests maybe sunila olivia you guys want to you know try out or any other guest who who who's okay, new to uh, i'm on yeah sunila okay perfect sunila uh great so one Two and seven is taken. So, can you choose a number between three to five, three to six, or eight to nine? Mm, I choose three. Three. Um. Uh, great. Sunila. Yeah. My favorite food or cuisine. My favorite food or cuisine. Sunila. Uh, hello everyone it's a lovely topic because uh, i love cooking and uh, love to try out new cuisines i'm not a very big eater though but uh, i like to try out new things in small quantities so even if i go out for dinner i i love to try out a new salad so in this uh, i mean in the new era now every day there's a new restaurant which is opening up and there are so many things i mean i'm really amazed at the number of things we can learn and cook and eat but uh the best cuisine is the indian cuisine i would say that because we make use of so many things which are grown in the soil our mother earth and it is amazing that india has so many varieties of food that can be cooked and even eaten raw in a different way so whether it be salads or maybe uh, partially cooked or steamed so basically i am not uh, pointing out that uh, i have a very particular cuisine which is my favorite and all i would like to say is i eat to live i do not live to eat thank you great thanks sunila that last statement which you 
said will resonate with me forever i am kind of a person like you i'm a big foodie uh, i have a box of biscuits kakras and you know bit more snacks while i'm here and you know i'm munching whenever i get time i completely agree with you i went out yesterday for a family dinner it was my sister's birthday uh, we ordered all sort of things uh, different cuisines we ordered pasta we we did a bit of uh, paneer sriracha sauce chinese nep you know nepali soup everything but at the end of the day there has to be an indian uh, dish which has to you know come so the, at the end of the day the last two things i ordered was an indian sabji with roti and then i went to a kulfi shop and i got a kulfi desert sure. for myself so completely agree with you i think india with its diversity there's so many cuisines you know across different regions and uh, yeah all of them are are something to cherish so thanks for that with that let me quickly check with with tmod that do we have time to do few more or we are short of time uh, i think we can you would still have 10 more minutes okay so perfect think, yeah so that means we can have at least two or three more so anybody else who wants to try the topics i have are very simple you might have guessed it by now looking at the four uh, topics have rashmin has raised his hand guest rashmin rashmin yes okay yeah i am ready so thank you rashmin so rashmin uh 1 2 3 and 7 are taken do you want to choose any other number from 1 to 9 i choose the last number number 9 number 9 okay that's my favorite number uh Rashmin, my favorite icon or personality who inspires me. My favorite icon or personality who inspires me, Rashmin. Well, Sachin, Sachin. <laughs> so well, uh, certainly Sachin is uh, one of my favorite icon. Uh, so. That is, you know, about Sachin. Uh, it's not. I'm not very much a fan of his batting, actually. But I'm. Um, I'm a big fan of what he is as a person. Uh, you know, everything that Sachin does sets an example. Uh, he has played almost twenty, twenty-five years, and you will not see any moment of any of uh, his behavior that you might say that this is not the right one. everything he does is an example uh i uh, happened to watch him when he was at the around age of 38 or 39 uh he it was almost uh, at the end of his uh, cricketing season uh he was practicing uh, at the at the bkc ground it was around 3 o'clock i went for some visa work over there so there was a lot of crowd uh, watching him and i also you know thought let's just see what he's been doing so i went there and it was 3 o'clock uh, somewhere around october i would say and uh, it was quite hot and humid in bombay as you know and uh, at around 30, age of 38 39 you you would wonder how long somebody would practice in a cricketer like sachin who has broken every records uh, he has every records in his name but uh, then i saw him practicing initially started practicing with uh, slower spinners then he started uh, you know uh, playing uh, shots on the ground then he started uh, practicing with the faster ones playing shots in the ground then after a few hours he started practicing hitting the shots and i was just watching him and i kept watching him for almost 3 hours so you know somebody at that age practicing so much when he was going to retire when i mean he already has announced his retirement that you know few days later he was going to play his final match uh, so for me you know sachin is not just the legend but uh, Uh, a person with immense uh, 
I'm lost of words right now. But uh, somebody whom I can always look upon on everything that he he does, he says, uh, you know, is is like an example for me. And and no wonder why he's uh, he's one of the the most lovable cricketer or icon uh, in the country. So yes, uh, Sachin is is the god. So thank you so much. Great, thanks, Rashmin, uh, for bringing that. For choosing Sachin, I'll tell you why. Uh, because I think what you said about practice uh, that resonates what we spoke earlier and what Sanish was saying, right? That at the age of 38, when he achieved everything in his life, is the best batsman. The best of best have said that they look themselves into him, like Sir Donald Bradman said that. So he's the best batsman, if if not all time best batsman, at least bat- the best batsman of my life. Uh, but he was still practicing at the age of 38, even after he announced his retirement. He was still sharpening his sword. He was still, you know, he still believed that the safest place to fail is those nets or the practice grounds, not in the live match. And few of you might be wondering that at the beginning, I said, I come here to fail. Well, that was not a negative statement. That was a statement when I said, if I have to fail, rather I fail here not an important client call or not in a call with, you know, an important uh, person or when a prime minister or a CEO is in the lift to say hi to me. So that's a great example. And the second thing which you were struggling at the end, maybe I'll fill your words. If I have to show my kid how he should become once he grows up, I'll show Sachin. I won't show any of the current generation cricketers who abuse on TV. Uh, He always maintained decorum. He always maintained sincerity from the age of 16. So he was young when he came, but he always had his, you know, uh, feet on the ground. So so thanks for bringing his name. Really appreciate it. We'll take one last one. Uh, and who's that lucky last one? I want to see if any of the guests can come ahead. That would be nothing like it. Yeah, hello. Hi. Hey, uh, sorry, I cannot see your name. Can you tell your name? Uh, Hello. Hello. Yeah, I'm Rajiv. Hey, Rajiv. Thanks. I'm sorry. Maybe Annette was slow at my end. So thanks, Rajiv, for volunteering. So the numbers which are already taken are one, two, three, seven, and nine. So do you want to choose any other number between one till nine? Number eight. Number eight. Rajiv, my favorite part of the day, that is morning, evening, or night. My favorite part of the day, Rajiv. My favorite part of the day is, uh, of course, uh, morning time. I uh, uh, get up in uh, at uh, five o'clock in the morning, and uh, I uh, go outside for uh, walking and uh, running, and uh, then uh, I do all my all uh, personal work. And uh, as I am a trader, then I started uh, looking for a market uh, uh, at uh, almost uh, seven, seven or eight hour in the morning. And uh, because morning uh, time is my favorite time uh, is uh, because uh, it is the best time uh, uh, for a market to trade uh, in the morning. Because the market has very volatile and uh, uh, I enjoy very lot uh, uh, in the morning time. Uh, then I seated in the market and uh, morning is the and after uh, all this my work, morning is the very uh, uh, enjoyable part of my life, my day. Uh, because uh, sun are rising, uh, birds are charming, uh, I 
uh, I started my bike and go through my city. I by looking for uh, friends uh, and uh, I enjoy with uh, friends very much. Uh, uh, it is very enjoyable time. Uh, uh, and uh, then uh, in the after morning, uh, uh, it's uh, afternoon time. Uh, I uh, still uh, set up in in the market, and uh, in the evening time, I same uh, routine I follow. As morning, I go outside meeting meet with uh, friends, uh, doing some other work, uh, and uh, then uh, uh, came home doing other some work and uh, then uh, go for sleeping then uh, uh, continuous uh, routine uh, that's all okay thank you over to you thank you rajiv thanks for that attempt really appreciate that uh, i was waiting for you to speak about birds chiming and sun rising in the morning because when you picked morning time and when you started speaking i started you know maybe i get i went into a nostalgia about my younger days when i used to wake up early to you know study uh, for my CA exams, we used to study all night and sleep in the veranda and get up with birds chiming and sun rising so that we can go and study again. But nothing like it, right? When the morning happens, when the sunrise, sun rays hits the, you know, the place where we are, that, you know, the glimmer of hope that today it's going to be a new day. And when you hear birds chiming, that gives you energy to start the day. And yeah, I agree. If your day is if your day starts well in the morning, the rest of the day you carry that positive attitude. So definitely with you on that. Um, thanks a lot, Rajiv. Uh, with that, uh, I'll end my session. Uh, it was really nice of, of all the guests to you know take up this opportunity and break the shackle and try it out. Uh, and also all the Toastmasters who have, you know, came forward. I just want to tell specifically to the guests, uh, this is just a, 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 maybe a teaser of what happens in a Toastmaster session. Imagine if you enroll for six months and if you maybe see the entire movie, like Sanish said in the start, it will definitely inspire you right so with that let me call upon timer to give me a timer report before i hand it over to team order thank you toastmaster sanis babu took two minute and 20 seconds guest tarun took two minute and 33 seconds guest pratik took two minute and 22 seconds guest sunila took one minute 20 seconds Toastmaster Rasmin took 3 minutes and 10 seconds. Toastmaster Rajiv took 2 minutes and 40 seconds. So, uh, guest Tarun and uh, Toastmaster Rasmin. Mm. Toastmaster Rasmin is not uh, eligible for the vote. Okay. Thank you. Over to you. Thank you. With that, um, I'll hand it over to Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Kalpana. Thank you, Kalpana. Thank you. Thank you so much, Vaiba, for actually conducting the table topic round with such an elan. You involved everyone and you kept us also listening. Our faculty, listening faculty was as sharp as the sword to ensure that nothing was messed out. Thank you. Toastmaster Pratibha, would you like to give the general evaluation right now? Or shall I ask for the poll for it? Are you ready? I would like to give uh, evaluation directly to him. You would like to give it to him? That's fantastic. Yeah. In that case, Risha, can you but, just launch but this? Just, I would like to brief. Yes, like, of course. Yes. Few things, what I observed in the table topic session. Yes. As this table topic session was not only the role, but also a speech project and the pathways. Yes. So we learned three important principles of active listening. Have you noticed that the speaker or the table topic master, while doing the active listening, 
he has not only evaluated the speech he has evaluated only the speech and not the speaker not the speaker style but what he said so contents and its its evaluation it gives a the first thing is active listening is that you have to see how the speaking is going on second thing is how you can make it more connected and how you can motivate the others every time the communication is always motivated through active listening normally we are listening only to give the answer or only to give our feedback but here today vaibhav has shown us the different way like how he could relate to the speaker's experience and this always motivates us if someone is listening to us enthusiastically and connected us through his experience it is always a, an opportunity to connect with that person and that is what exactly the active listening is third thing what i liked it he has analyzed it in a very proper way so that the listening is important empowerment is also done and at the same time he is he was encouraging the speakers with his open ended topics with this not only we learn how to do impromptu speaking but also we learned the principles of active listening over to you akalpana thank you thank you so much pratibha i agree with you on that i myself found that i was glued to what he was speaking and how he was connecting with each speaker i would now ask sar rishav to launch the polls thank you uh haven't received all the responses um, uh, guys uh, can you please uh, uh give your opinion uh both of us will not be in the poll right yeah. yes uh, yeah yes will not yeah. apart from us like uh, like yeah. yeah last person you are left yes i think those who haven't voted we request so we have to vote as well yes yes you the best and the guests have to vote yes yes, yes. okay thank you how do i go back to that oh uh, and do you I'm have sorry. the poll right there on your screen sunila no i don't i don't have it i think i exited the poll okay uh all right in that case will you be able to launch it again uh, it, it's all right sunila in that case we'll just take the meeting forward it's okay. your first time we will do it next time sure. thank you so much i would request rishav now to tell us who the winner is yes kalpana i'll just share my screen and share the certificate so the winner for table topic is tm sunish a huge round of applause to toastmaster shanesh congratulation please highlight and take a photograph i would also request you to give a second place to the guest who has the most votes because this was for the guest benefit toastmaster rishav after you take a photograph yes uh... from among the guests the one who won got the most votes will be the winner among the guests this so, the second place yeah yes of course rishav and just make this it so it's it's guest prateek guest prateek absolutely congratulations prateek could you just highlight prateek and take yes. a photograph i hope you have taken a snapshot of sanish also Thank you so much, Shyam. Yes, thank you. Oh, congratulations, Pratik. Pratik, are you can there? Can you please switch? Or can or will you able to switch on your video, Pratik? Hi. Um, I'm sorry. I'm 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 still out. Uh, okay. I'm just going to no go problem. back home after this. But uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate this. Uh, I've okay. taken a picture of this. Okay. okay. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right. 
So with the polls conducted and with the awards given, we want you to know that each and every speaker is generally given an appreciative award to encourage it. So we have polls, we have voting for the best speaker as well as best table topic master. I would like to continue this journey because it's our 75th meet and every meet we have some game or the other. So very quickly, I'll be just giving you three lines, all right? Tone or vocal variety is a part of any speaker. It means a lot. Here is your first sentence. The person who volunteers, can you raise the hand? Any one person. Vocal variety, Pratibha, right. Pratibha, I would like you to say this sentence. I am angry, but in a sad tone. I, I, you are on mute, Pratibha. I want you to say the line, I am angry, but in a sad tone. I'm angry. All right. Second the hand is raised by Tarun. Tarun. Yes. Yeah. I would like you to say the same line. I am angry in an angry tone. I am angry. <laughs> Guys, I want you all to listen to the difference. Third volunteer. Yes, I can see Rashmin has raised his hand. Rashmin, I am angry in a disappointed tone. I am angry. <laughs> you see the change, how the meaning changes. One more person. One more person. One more volunteer. Vaibo, can I ask you to raise your hand? You can participate. Yeah, I can do that. All right. I am angry in a sarcastic tone. Well, I am angry. Oh, that wasn't sarcasm. That was informative. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me try again. Well, actually, I was angry. Uh, all right. I'm giving you one more sentence so I will, over okay. here. Okay? okay. Say I'm happy in an unhappy tone. <laughs> I'm happy in an unhappy tone. I'm happy. Oh, great. Now that had sarcasm more into it. <laughs> uh, any volunteers? Just one more volunteer before I move on to the next game. Anyone? Anyone who would like to be a part of this? Yeah, sure. I think Pratik Hand raised his hand. Yeah. Yeah. Pratik, you have? Okay, great. Now say, I am happy in a joyous tone. I am so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Wonderful. Now, one thing, you know, you now we have realized the words can remain the same. The content can remain the same. It is not the words, but the tone that makes a difference. So when you are speaking or when you are going to be a speaker, remember a message is conveyed through your tone. 80% of it. 20% weightage is given to your words. So as a speaker, polish them well. Now, we are going to have a fast round of tongue twister. I think everyone knows Betty bought a bit of butter. Five times. Volunteers, please. I'm writing it down in the chat too. Anyone? Sunila. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I we used to do this in Dick Boy, I remember. Yes, that's why I gave it to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, five times, right? Five times, absolutely. Betty Butter bought some butter, but the butter was bitter. So Betty Butter bought some more butter to make the bitter better, bitter butter better. All right. Betty but <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah, continue. Should I continue? Yeah, please, please. Betty Butter bought some butter, but the butter was bitter. So Betty Butter bought some more butter to make the bitter butter better. Betty All Butter right. bought some butter, but the butter was bitter. So Betty Butter bought some more butter to make the bitter butter better. 
Betty butter bought some butter, but the butter was bitter. So Betty butter bought some more butter to make to make the bitter butter better. Yeah. Betty butter bought some butter, but the butter was bitter. So Betty butter bought some more butter to make the bitter be butter better. Better. Oh, why? Fantastic. Anyone else? One, why? Why am I asking you guys to speak this like this? Why do we have tongue twisters? Tongue twisters are very important in a speech. The reason for tongue twisters to be important is it help us helps us to control our speech. The volume as well as the pitch, as well as the pace. These three things are controlled when we control or use tongue twisters and we don't stumble over our words. I'm going to say it once and I want everyone to listen and I want one more volunteer post that. Here I go. Betty bought a bit of butter, but the bit of butter was bitter. So she bought another bit of butter to make the bitter butter better. Betty bought a bit of butter, but the bit of butter was better, bitter. So she bought another bit of butter to make the bit of butter better. Betty bought a bit of butter, but the bit of butter was bitter. So she bought another bit of butter to make the bit of butter better. Betty bought a bit of butter, but the bit of butter was bitter. So she bought another bit of butter to make the bit of butter better. Betty bought a bit of butter, but the bit of butter was bitter. So she bought another bit of butter to make the bit of butter better. Better. Sorry. Yes. One more person. Three times, if not five times. Anybody? No volunteers? Vibhav, you can give it a shot. <laughs> Pratik, you too. Twice, just twice. Or you can use anything else in Hindi. Chandu ki chachi ne chandu ke chacha ko chandni chok me chandi ki chamat se chatni chatai. I strongly believe Sanish will do a better job on this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, on a huge laugh, Sanish, over to you. <laughs> hey, can you tell it once, Betty? What I... Betty, I have put it in chat too. Betty bought a bit of butter but the bit of butter was bitter so she bought another bit of butter to make the bitter butter better here goes nothing betty butter bought a bit of butter but the bit of butter was bitter so betty butter bought another bit of butter to make the bit of butter better betty butter Absolutely. bought a bit of butter but the bit of butter was bitter so betty butter bought a bit of butter to make the bit of butter better Betty butter bought a bit of butter, but the bit of butter was bitter. So Betty bitter bought a bit of butter to make the bitter butter better. <laughs> Fantastic. On See, I told you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Why well, prefers the good strain, you know, slow and steady. <laughs> He's not the Rajdhani Express person. But wonderful. I thank each and every one of you today who has helped this meeting be a success. It was my 75th meeting and I learned one more thing in this particular meet as I conducted it and organized it, that with support, with inner support, you can reach the heights in Toastmasters. Today's meeting was possible because of great support from Sanish, Pratiba, Vaibhav, and all the guests, all who came at one request of mine, Olivia, Sunila, Sushma, Pratik, who just had a word with me yesterday and agreed to join today as a guest. Without listeners, without an audience, a speaker is not worth a penny. Because you were there, you made this meeting great. I'm very happy. And I now declare the 75th meeting of Speakers Community Toastmasters Club close. Thank you.